What is going on guys welcome back in this video today we're going to cover a feature of the python f string that a lot of you guys have probably not heard about yet so let us get right into it All right, now a quick recap for those of you who don't know what f-strings are. f-strings are essentially formatted strings, and in my opinion, the most convenient way to format strings in Python. And string formatting in general means taking the result of an expression, maybe a calculation, a function call, or maybe just a value of a variable, and incorporating that or formatting that into a string. So for example, if I have a print statement, a very simple one like hello user, I might want to replace that by hello and then your name and your name might be part of a variable. So name could be Mike, for example, and then I want to say hello, Mike. Now, of course, I can do that by just adding the string. So I can say hello, and then I can say plus name, this is a possibility. Or I can use string formatting. And for string formatting, I also have multiple different options, I can use the percentage sign, uh, I can use dot format and stuff like that. But the most convenient way, as I said, in my opinion, is to use an F string. So to just put an F in front of the string, and then inside of the string to use uh, curly brackets to then put some Python code in here. So for example, name, and then I can continue with the string, for example, an exclamation mark. And if I run this, you can see Hello, Mike, that is the idea of an F string. And in here, I don't have to just put a variable, I can also put a calculation like 10 plus 20. Or I can also if I have a function, maybe I have a function, hello, and this function returns uh, a string, hello, then of course, I can also call that function and put it into the curly bracket. So hello. And there you go. So this is how an F string works. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about a specific feature of the F string, which is adding an equal sign to get a specific behavior. And the main reason I can tell you that right away, the main reason to do that is for debugging, you can of course also do it just to to print stuff in general. But the main benefit of this is to debug your code in, an, in a simple way. And all of this is just essentially syntactic sugar. So it's not like some major features being added here. It's just a different uh, shorter way and more convenient way to do what we're going to do in this video. But the main idea is that for example, let's say I have the string. Um, let's say I want to say something like here is a calculation. And I want to display the full calculation into results. So for example, 20 plus 40 equals, and then I would add here, let's use just a, a string addition here. Let's just say I want to have the string version of 20 plus 40. So this is how I could do this without any formatting, I could say here's a calculation 20 plus 40 equals 60. Um, and of course, I can do that also with f strings. So what I can do here, as we already saw in the beginning of the video, I can also use curly brackets to say 20 plus 40. So that works fine. Now what we can also do, and this is the purpose of this video today is we can use an equal sign inside of the curly brackets to basically replace this by just saying, maybe let's copy this. So I don't have to write the full text here. Here's a calculation. And instead of having this as a string here, I can just say 20 plus 40 equals and then a space to get the right formatting. And then I can run this and you can see I get the exact same output. So whatever is in here is also displayed. And then I get the result as well. So that is a shorter version of that, basically. And this now works not only with calculations, it also works with variables, it works with function calls, it basically works if you want to see the full expression that is inside of those curly brackets. So for example, I could have a value being equal to 10. And I can print here as an F string. Uh, here is some data, for example, and maybe I want to do this multiple times, but I can just say value equals. And then you can see here value equals 10. Um, and of course, if I don't add the space, you're going to get a different formatting. So you can see I don't have the space here anymore. But this is what you can do. And this is just convenient, because then you can keep track of certain uh, things. You can also, as I said, do this with functions. So if I have a function, my square, and I add a number n into it, and here I return just n uh, to the power of two, then I can also go ahead, ahead and say, here is a function call. And then I can use my square 
my square 10 and then equals and you will see I get here's a function call my square 10 equals 100. And this can be useful if we have, for example, loop. So if I say for I in range 10, for example, I might want to say value equals and then I can have some calculation. I don't know, uh, I times my square of I. Uh, and then I want to have for debugging purposes here, I could say F string, maybe here with square brackets debug to know that this is a debug message. And then I can just say, I is whatever I is. And then I can say that my square of I is whatever my square of I is. So I can change that. Uh, maybe we should also add a space here. But then you can see we just get some nice debugging messages. Because what I oftentimes do when I write code is I have um, messages printing values. So maybe I don't know where a bug is coming from. And every time a certain section is called, I will have something like print uh, x and print print other variable or something like that. And um, this is nice because you see the value, but I oftentimes, since I do this maybe just for one time to see something real quick, so just to check something, I won't use a proper formatting. I, I won't always say x equals x. I just do it... I, I do it just like that. So I just say print x. And doing that is way more convenient if you just have to do that, at least in my opinion. So maybe I would do it way more often if I would do it like that all the time. And this is just a nice feature for debugging because you can clearly see uh, what is happening at which point. But again, at the end of the day, it's just syntactic sugar, but it's a feature that a lot of you guys probably don't know about. So this is what you can also do with f strings. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.